The first rule is trust yourself. And what I mean by that is, is so many young people are getting so much advice from their parents and from the teachers and from everyone. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. I was lucky growing up because I did not have the television or I didn't have telephones. I didn't have the, TV, the computers and the iPods. And of course, Twitter was then something that birds did outside the window. But I didn't have all the, the distractions and all this. I spent a lot of time by myself so I could figure out and listen to what is inside my heart and inside my head. And I recognized very quickly that inside my head and heart were a burning desire to leave my small village in Austria. Not that there was something wrong with us, Austria. It's a beautiful country. But I wanted to leave that little place and I wanted to be part of something big. The United States of America. The, a powerful nation. The place where dreams can come true. I knew when I come over here I can realize my dreams. And I decided that the best way for me to come to America was to become a bodybuilding champion. Because I knew that was my ticket. The instant that I saw a magazine cover of my idol, Reg Park. He was Mr. Universe. He was uh, starring in Hercules movies. He looked strong and powerful. He was so confident. So when I found out he got that way, I became obsessed and I went home. And I said to my family, I want to be a bodybuilding champion. Now you can imagine how that went over in my home in Austria. My parents, they couldn't believe it. They would have been just happy if I would have become a police officer like my father. Everyone else thought that I was crazy. My friend said, if you want to be a champion in a sport, why don't you go and become a bicycle champion or a skiing champion or a soccer champion? Those are the Austrian sports. But I didn't care. I wanted to be a bodybuilding champion and use that to come to America and use that to go into the movies and make millions of dollars. So I, mean, I, wanted to, I was on a mission. So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how and what anyone else thinks. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. My wife has a t-shirt. My wife has a t-shirt that says, well-behaved women rarely make history. Well, you know, I don't want to burst her bubble, but the same is true with men. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well-behaved and not want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? The only way that I ever got any place was by breaking some of the rules. After all, I remember that after I was finished with my bodybuilding career, I wanted to get into acting and I wanted to be a, a star in films. You can imagine what the agent said when I went to meet all those agents. Everyone had the same line that it can't be done. The rules are different here. Just look at your body. You have this huge, monstrous body, overly developed, that doesn't fit into the movies. And the agent also complained about my accent. He says, no one ever became a star with an accent like that, especially not with a German accent. And yes, I can imagine with your name, Arnold Schwarzen Schnitzel, or whatever the name is, on a billboard. Yeah, that's going to draw a lot of tickets and sell a lot of tickets. You're yeah, right. So this is the kind of negative attitude they had, but I didn't li listen to those rules. I was convinced I could do it, that if I worked as hard as I did in bodybuilding, five hours a day, and I started getting to work, I started taking acting classes, took English classes, took speech classes, dialogue classes, accent removal classes I even took. Finally, I broke through. I broke through and I started getting the first parts in TV, Streets of San Francisco, Lucille Ball hired me, I made Pumping Iron, Stay Hungry, and then I got the big break in Conan the Barbarian. And there the director said, if we wouldn't have Schwarzenegger, we would have to build one. Now think about that. And then when I did Terminator, I'll be back. Became most of, one of the most famous lines in a, a movie history, all because of my crazy accent. Now think about it. The things that the agent said will be totally a, a detriment and will be impossible for me to get a job. All of a sudden became an asset for me. All of those things, my accent, my body and everything. So it just shows you, never listen that you can't do something. And you have to work your way up, of course, run for something else first. I mean, it was the same 
in, 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 when I ran for governor. The same lines that you have to work you up, it can't be done. And then, of course, I ran for governor, and the rest, of course, is history. I said, I'm not interested in a political career. I want to be a public servant. I want to fix California's problems and bring people together and bring the parties together. So, like I said, I decided to run. I didn't pay attention to the rules, and uh, I made it, and the rest is history.